faster. Faster. Turn. Again. <laughs> Turn. There are people on this earth that you just don't want to mess with. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie characters that can kill you with their mind. For this list, we're limiting our choices to big screen characters and excluding those that are meant to represent the devil. The following scenes may contain spoilers, so consider yourselves warned. Oh, no tears, please. It's a waste of good suffering. Number 10, Andrew Detmer, Chronicle. We get out of here, please. Is it showing up on the camera like that? I don't know, man. It's messing with it. I don't really want to film. Of all the people to stumble upon a mysterious object in the woods that grants telekinetic powers, it just had to be this kid. <laughs> Sick. Dude, I hate you. At first, we feel sorry for the abused and bullied teenager who just can't seem to catch a break. But following the death of one of his only friends, Andrew Detmer has a citywide temper tantrum that results in heavy duty damages and countless injuries. Hey, Wayne! <laughs> We realize he's actually just kind of a dick, albeit one with a god complex and the power to back it up. Oh, you gotta get? <laughs> I've gotta get two. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, the children, village of the damned. We're talking the original, not the Christopher Reeve remake here. How do you know that? Things are just creepier in black and white. Plus, you gotta love all the contextual tidbits that make this film completely of its time. Like the fear of juvenile delinquency. A man is dead. We must protect ourselves. The law exists for your protection. It's of no use to us. Then there's the alleged anti-communist propaganda that substitutes the Reds with Aryan children whose fathers hail from an unknown source and have the ability to telepathically force innocent people to kill themselves. Those were the days. Number eight. Sid, the Rainmaker, Looper. Night, sweetie. Night, Sarah. In this futuristic tale of time travel and how a single action can forever change us, we meet a little boy who may or may not grow up to become the man responsible for overthrowing dangerous crime bosses, but also for the death of Joe's future wife. <laughs> We first get a taste of Sid's wrath when this kid falls down a flight of stairs, gets enraged, and uses his abilities to levitate household items. He then makes those in his path burst open with pure mental rage, which reveals the power of his telekinesis and his destiny as the Rainmaker. Number seven, Charlie McGee, Firestarter. I do something bad, but you still love me. Stephen King is well known for creating stories that feature innocent but gifted characters and lame authority figures that try to control them. You can go now. I got the kid with me. I said you can go now. Babyface Drew Barrymore plays a child with the rare ability to set things on fire with her mind. No, don't. No, don't. Of course, the government gets involved and ruins all the fun. So, when the covert agency tries to exploit her powers, all hellfire breaks loose and little Drew cooks up a real storm, cooking everyone. I love you, Charlie.
Number 6. Tetsuo Shima Akira Who is this young boy standing alone? Is he fighting the coup d'etat forces all by himself? This groundbreaking anime flick shows us what Tokyo would look like 31 years after a colossal explosion destroys the city. So what are you gonna do now? Well, Kaneda, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> Caused by a young boy named Akira who couldn't control his psionic powers, the now rebuilt Tokyo isn't exactly what you'd call a utopia, especially considering history may be about to repeat itself with Tetsuo. You shouldn't use your power in this way, for it is not correct. What's that? This young lad sees his own gifts grow beyond his control. So much so, that he eventually goes on a vicious rampage, turns into a gigantic blob, and is forced into another dimension by the reanimated Akira. Help! Kanida, help! Please! Number 5. Carrie White, Carrie. Hey, Carrie, I want to talk to you. It's about this attitude you have about yourself. I mean, you're always walking around, you know, with your hair down, all moping around. Carrie? Here's another Stephen King innocent but pushed over the edge character. If I concentrate hard enough, I can move things. This time around, the girl in question is a victim of relentless bullying and her Bible thumping mother's disturbing abuse. No, I'm no, visiting. No, Curse. No. Starting from the first scene where we're forced to witness the graphic details of Carrie's first menses, we just know that the rest of the film is gonna be a bloodbath. And nothing says revenge for getting pig's blood dumped on you like brutally murdering everyone you know. <laughs> Number 4. John Osterman, Dr. Manhattan, Watchmen Welcome, Doctor. Now we can start. There ain't nothing physicist John Osterman can't do. Literally. They are shaping me into something gaudy. Something lethal. Aside from your garden variety telekinesis and super strength, the outcast from the Blue Man Group can also fly, predict the future, manipulate matter, and move from planet to planet. While his path of vengeful destruction is not as wide as others on this list, he is a force to be reckoned with and knows just how to build fatal energy reactors. Try doing all that in your birthday suit. Do it! Number 3. Daryl Revick, Scanners. Tell us what you did, please, Daryl. I drilled a hole in the head. Where? It's kind of obvious. Right here. Director David Cronenberg's sci fi horror flick is about a renegade scanner who uses his deadly talents to make a guy's head explode and to force people to shoot themselves and crash their cars. Ray, I'm going to kill you if you don't do it. All while declaring war on a company that developed the fictional drug ephemeral, which suppresses a scanner's abilities, but also passes the scanner gene onto unborn fetuses. It created scanners. Yes. The man who invented ephemeral was very excited by this weird mutation it caused. Of all the murders mentioned in this list, his are certainly the most gruesome. Number 2. Jean Grey, Phoenix, X-Men The Last Stand You have more power than you can imagine, Jean. The question is, will you control that power? Although this fiery mutant is arguably the sexiest of the X-Men franchise, she's also one of the most dangerous. Logan, you're making me blush. In the first two films, Jean Grey's telekinesis is under control, and her telepathy is maintained by Professor X since he knows what she's truly capable of. So you want to control me? No, he does. No, I want to help you. But by the third installment, she's evolved into the darker and way more lethal Phoenix. Gene! Gene! 
With her incredible psychic powers, she ends up killing almost everyone she cares about and many others before the movies end. We can help you. Hey, the professor can help. He can fix it. I don't want to fix it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Am I just an experiment? A laboratory specimen? This cannot be my destiny. Number one, Darth Vader, The Star Wars Saga. We're giving you clairvoyance enough to find the rebel's hidden fort. <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. Hands down, this force-powered Sith Lord is one of the best loved, most quoted, most emulated, universally recognizable supervillains in film history. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. That's because at every turn, the gigantic black-clad cyborg has been leaving us and anyone who crosses him breathless. Apology accepted, Captain Nida. Though he also makes use of a lightsaber, Vader isn't above using the dark side of the Force to help him get the upper hand in battle. This includes choking others and throwing objects without having to touch them, as well as being able to sense disturbances in the Force. Not bad for a fictional religion. What is thy bidding, my master? There is a great disturbance in the Force. I have felt it. Do you agree with our list? Which movie character do you think has awesome powers? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I pray you find Jesus.